Hey guys, welcome to Picks and Parlays. I'm Allie Burns, and today I've got a two-team Major League Baseball parlay for you. The new promo code this week is NCAA. Use it and save 20% off of the entire Picks and Parlays. With me today, I've got Tim Michael from Picks and Parlays, expert handicapper extraordinaire. How are you doing today, Tim? We're doing great, Allie. You know what? Right now we're sitting top four and uh on MLB. So, uh, you know what? We're ready for uh, today and the free pick for everybody. That is what's up. And I like both of these plays together on a parlay a whole lot as well. So the first one that we are going to talk about is the Tampa Bay Rays at the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles have been getting some stuff done is what they've been doing. They snapped a 19 game losing streak just to win two in a row against the Angels. They're staying at home, but here come the Tampa Bay Rays minus 220 and a total of 10 and a half. So what do you got on this one for me? Okay, Ali, like you mentioned, here we go. It's two team major league baseball parlay for Friday night. And you know what? As per usual with the parlay, I'm going to go with two larger favorites. But as you also know, because both have to win for the parlay to cash, we're getting significantly better odds on this one. So for this parlay, I'm going to concentrate on the starting pitchers. In the first game, I'm taking Shane McClenahan. McClenahan, I was, you know me and names. And the Rays over Matt Harvey and the Orioles. And you know what? In that second game, just so you know, I'm taking Steven Matz and the Jays to take on Matt Manning and the Tigers. So that first game, obviously the Rays just keep on winning despite a slew of injuries. And that's in large part due to their starting pitching and bullpen. And McClenahan has been key for sure. He's 8-4 and four with a 3.63 ERA this year. And he most recently struck out 8 and allowed one run over five innings against these very Orioles last week. Suffice to say, I expect the guy to repeat the performance. Now... Obviously, what are we going to say about Harvey other than he's just been terrible again this year? He's 6-3 and three with a 6.27 ERA, and he's off another loss, this time to Atlanta, most recently allowing four runs over five innings. Harvey has now been rocked for six home runs over the last 19 innings of work. So you know what? That's my read here. I like McClenahan and the Rays on the road in this first game. Okay. So that's what we're going to do there, taking the Rays. So then for game two, we've got the Blue Jays at the Detroit Tigers. Blue Jays, smaller favorite, but still a lofty one, minus a 155. And we've got a nine and a half as the total on this one. What do you got? Okay. And like I touched on at the beginning there, I like Steven Matz and the Jays on the road as well. Matz is 10 and seven with a 3.94 ERA this season, while Matt Manning. Matt Manning is only three and five with a 5.91 ERA. Manning, well, he's struggled for the most part. He is just has just 29 strikeouts over his first 53.1 innings of work. And he's only one in five with a ballooned 6.86 ERA in all night games. So you know what? It's a two-team parlay. We're going with favorites, and that's my read overall here on Friday night, Alley. I'm keeping it simple. I'm parlaying these two road favorites that I think will win easily. We're rolling with the Rays and the Jays in my two-team Major League Baseball Moneyline Parlay. Go Rays and Jays. <laughs> Rays and Jays to pay the parlay. I like it a lot. Uh, and it rhymes too, so I like it even more. Just makes sense now, doesn't it? Let's all go take that bet. Thank you so much, Tim Michael and Picks and Parlays View Crew. If you're looking for Tim Michael's premium plays and packages, don't forget to check them out over at picksandparlays.net.